Hi guys, welcome back to Making Lunch is Fun. So this week in the States, in the US, they're making Dr. Seuss lunch themes all week long for Dr. Seuss week. So I decided that even though we live here in Canada, I am going to make one because I think some of them are just so cute. Um, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roll out my bread here. Just gonna put a little butter on both sides of the bread. Today I'm gonna use pepperoni. My daughter has requested no cheese. So we're not gonna add cheese for her today. Just clean that up a little. Okay, so now that I've put the top piece on, I'm just gonna give it a nice little roll. Not too flat, but just enough. Gonna grab my Dr. S uh, sorry, my Thing 1 or Thing 2 cookie cutter here. This cookie cutter I got from JB Cookie Cutters. Um, if you want to know exactly where I got it or how you can get them, by all means, comment in the video or do a quick search. It's JB Cookie Cutters. Once I am done doing that, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it over and just give the rolling pin a nice little roll over top instead of sitting there and pushing all alongside of the cookie cutter. So now that that's done, I'm just gonna simply clean up the crumbs here a bit. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that everything looks good and I'm gonna start releasing the bread from the cookie cutter. I'm gonna use two items here, this one pick here and for the thinner areas, I'm just gonna use a toothpick. So it might take a little bit. So I'm gonna just fast forward this part of the video and continue along. Okay, so once it's done, you can just kind of clean it up a little bit here and play with it. Okay, so that is done. So all I'm gonna do now is I am going to add my napkin. I just kind of fold it over just so that it makes it look a little neater in there. I prefer a napkin, I like the way they look. So there we go. And now what I did next is I wanted to do the um, green eggs and ham. So I got, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do the ham first. So for the ham, I basically just have the ham in my fridge. I've already done one, just so that the uh, video can be a little quicker. Sliced it in half, and now I'm just gonna make those um, rose flowers. So fold the meat over in half, and make slices going through, but not going all the way to the very end. And for this, at the end of it, when you're rolling it, you can use a toothpick, or you can use a lot of people use spaghetti. I just use a toothpick. My kids know that when I do this, there is a toothpick in it that they need to remove. So now I'm just rolling it up. And then I'm just gonna grab my toothpick here. And at the very end, I'm just gonna stick it through just like so. Okay. So now we have our eggs. So I pre-boiled these eggs, and then once they were done boiling, I put them in another bowl with some green food coloring. Just gonna cut it in half. So now you have a green eggs and ham look. So let's put this little flower down here. 
And we'll put this little flower up here. And how do we want to place this? So I say we just kind of go like so. So green eggs and ham. There you go. So now, <coughs> excuse me. All I'm gonna do for the next piece is basically I grabbed a baby bell and I don't have any edible paper so I had to use paper and I just wrote thing two on it. My other kids will have thing one and thing three. And now I'm just gonna grab some tape. I'm gonna stick it to the back of this here. And right in the middle of this, baby bell I'm gonna stick that down just like so so it looks just like this so now I grabbed some goldfish here and on half of them I have done the edible markers of the faces so all we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some of those in here just like so we're gonna put our baby bell down. I think I'm gonna need some more actually. And these are mixed, so they have the um, the Mickey's and the fish. All I'm using though is the actual fish, not the um, the Mickey's. Okay, so put these ones off to the side here, and then just put the uh, rest in here. And then the ones that you drew the face on, I mean, you can just play around and put them right up in the front. So it's nice and a cute little look. So on the, um, the top here, all I'm going to do is I'm not going to do anything too fancy. I'm just going to actually put some um, strawberries and some... Uh, blueberries so I'm just gonna cut some up and put them in and then I'm gonna weave some uh, blueberries in throughout there see if we can get one more strawberry in here just kind of squish her in okay so now Let's just add some blueberries. And that's about it. And in the middle section, you can add whatever you want, some uh, little fishes or whatever. So since it's Dr. Seuss, I'm just going to use these um, blue M&Ms that I have and I'm just going to actually pick through them all and just take out the, uh, the blue ones. I think I'm gonna add another flower here and another flower here and then I'm just gonna post the picture so I hope you guys enjoyed and have fun if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment bye guys don't forget to like and subscribe thanks